are back with another 30 ink 30 days we're here for day 11 and i know we veered off the path of ink flightiness um we went on we went rogue yesterday we are going to go back to our ink flight samples i intend to go rogue again in the near future but um i wanted to go back to ink flight samples um just just because i guess i don't know um yeah, so I have really enjoyed using my pen today. I'm still I'm still using it. Um, um, yeah, this ink is amazing. We did get a little bleed through where I had some of the bigger spots, but that's okay. Um, and here's what it looks like on the Maraman. Sorry if this video seems like cut like it's cut a lot because I apparently have just gotten the sneezes the second I started recording. I am allergic to recording these videos. I'm just just thought you should know. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I am going to cut all those out because they're loud and I hate them. So, yeah. So cool. So we're going to move on to our next uh, choice. We are going to pick from our ink flight samples again. Um, today I'm going to use my um, uh, Pen BBS 480 in the Nyan Gao finish. Um, I call this my kitty cat pen because um, the owner of Pen BBS... Um, has a cat that looks like this and um this finish used to like the full name of the finish is Nyangao as a cat i think Nyangao actually translates to some sort of like food item actually but that's what their cat was named like if your cat was named biscuit or something like that or i actually know a person that their dog is named biscuit um but yeah so um so yeah, so I'm going to use this pen because I just want to. It was a gift from my dear friend Casey, and I have a medium nib on it. And I just decided that's the pen I want to use, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I will be deviating from the ink flight plan again. Um, I am uploading my Ferris wheel press. I pr actually, I've probably already uploaded my Ferris wheel press video, but um, I do want to use... Well, a lot of those inks, but specifically one ink in one specific pen, but um, I just decided to go back to this today, so um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to mix these up a little bit. Sorry if that's loud. I just realized I hadn't mixed the thing up in a while, so um, yeah, so I'm just going to go right down in here somewhere and pick whatever this one is. So hopefully you can see this. I can't. And um, we'll find out what we got. So my ink for today, day 11, is... Oh, cool. Straits Pen Honest Ink Bougainvillea Purple. Chris loves this ink. This, I don't think, is an accurate description. This is when I was still doing these stickers, but I think the sticker is compromised. Um, yeah, so this is a really pretty purple color. And, um, yeah, that's what we're going to use today because that is what I chose. Um, yesterday, I don't know if you're doing Fountain Pen Challenge or if you follow me on Instagram at all, but, um, Fountain Pen Challenge, the question for day 10 was, um, what is the ink color you use the most? And, um, I said purple 100%. So, um, yeah, I'm glad to see that I'm sticking with this theme, especially after the last few days. <laughs> Also, well, let me fill my pen first so I'm not, like, leaving this ink just sitting out here. Let me fill my pen first, and then I'll show you my Hobonichi counter. Ooh, I almost spilled that. Did you see? Um, um, I screwed up my Hobonichi calendar. So, oh, well. Boop, boop, boop. we go some pretty purple ink okay so I have about a mil left over that seems to be about the same like a converter takes about a mil give or take um, Excuse the sniffles. These are left over from my um, from my sneezing fit. Oh, 
be careful. My pen is like it's throwing ink everywhere. Okay. Zoom in. Zoom you in. ink today. Oh, let me get my card out. RST. I was going to say, did I even grab the card? This is what our ink looks like. zoomed in kind of far so it's really pretty pretty like pinky purple and I like purposely like gradiated the card on this one I think um, but yeah so this is from ink flight number 30 so let's see straight hands honest ink Purple from Ink Flight Thirty July twenty nineteen. The pen, the pen BBS four eight zero Niango from. Casey. We'll put heart because we love Casey. Oh, I don't even know if you saw all that, sorry. It's a problem with being zoomed in. Like I want you to see it, but then I don't move the thing so you can. Sorry about that. Like all those splats yesterday, I'm so sorry you missed out on those. I felt really bad about it, but we'll do better this time. <laughs> go. Gonna do some supply spots now. There we go. Splat, splat, splat. Those are good splats too. So we will set this off to the side. Let me zoom back out a little, little bit so you can see the whole thing. So it's really pretty. And then there's the full card so you can see it. It's all like super crinkly because of all the splats and all the paper and all the Tamoy Riverness. We like crinkle. I like the crinkle. Okay, our ink. <laughs> I 
I don't like writing on the crinkle so much now. Sorry if that's loud. I was right by the microphone. So I'm going to just throw my Hobonichi in here. Hobonichi pencil board in here just to see if that helps a little bit. It was really pretty. This is a favorite of, oh, I just smeared it. Sorry about that. Oh my, I'm apologizing. Sorry, ink. Sorry, people who had to see that. I know that this is uh, one of Chris's favorite inks. I know when she did 30 inks, um, when this was one of the featured inks, this was the ink that she ended up getting, I think, as her bottle of the month. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a bottle um, this month or if I'm just going to be happy with what I have. Um, we'll see if we'll, like there's one that like really like stands out. Like I think I'd like to get a bottle of one of the Pure Pens inks, um, just in general. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens at the end of the month. I usually re reward myself with a bottle of something. I didn't last month just because I like it was all bottles of ink, so um, that I already had. So I didn't really feel the need to like reward myself with something I already had. <laughs> So yeah, so whatever. Um, okay, today I am grateful for... For... What am I grateful for today? <laughs> hmm. I don't know what I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for something. Like, there can't be nothing. I'm grateful that Pearl washes her hands. No, that's not a thing to be grateful for. I mean, whatever. Um... I am grateful um, today I am grateful for working in pajamas because that's currently what I'm doing well I'm on my break um, I actually have to change and go into the office soon but um, yeah I, I woke up late and so it's exciting that I get to just like roll out of bed and start working so so cool all right well I think that's it for me today <laughs> I haven't decided if we will deviate tomorrow or if we'll deviate on the weekend but we will be deviating again at some point because I want to get some of those Ferris wheel press inks in pens that I use for 30 inks. I have a couple inked up if you saw the video, um, but also I want to get specifically um, an ink in a specific pen and that's what that's really what I intend to do. Oh, I did want to show you my, um, my Hobonichi calendar so far. We'll set this off to the side. Uh, oh, let me do some spots here too so it can dry along with everything else. My favorite part and my least favorite part about these pen BBS pens is this O-ring. It's great because it seals it up really well, but like it makes it really hard to like turn it at the end and turn it at the beginning. Um, but it's a great feature and I actually like really enjoy it. So I'm going to set that down so we can get some even spots. And I'm actually going to scoot off to the side again like I had earlier so my phone's not in the way. So we can get decent spots. 
Should I zoom in for that? Let's see. Alright. Okay, these are going to be good spots. I can feel it. Bloop. 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 Yeah, yeah. There we go. We got some spots. Some good spottage because I moved off to the side. I didn't have to worry about hitting my phone. So, excellent. I like how this one like actually like went bloop and to the next page. So cool. I'm going to have to refill my pen. <laughs> that is the one thing about doing these spots is they use a lot of ink. So, I actually get my way through the sample. Because the syringe spots don't take as much ink. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So, we're going to set this off to the side. So, it can dry. Put something on top of it so it sits still. Oh, that's not gonna stay. I'll do this for now. Okay. So I screwed up my Hobonichi calendar. Um, oh, yay. Um, I hope screwed up my Hobonichi calendar. Let me zoom back out again. Um, I apparently missed doing this day, so when I filled in the ink days, I thought I had to grab the right pen. So day eight is actually day nine's ink, and day ten is actually day eight's ink, and day nine is, yeah, so it's all messed up. But now that I'm here, I might as well just go fill this in so I don't, like, screw it up again. So yeah, and I realized it after I colored them all. I realized it when I got to this one. I was like, wait, this was the other day. Um... Yeah, I usually do this off-camera when I do my prompts. But we're here right now, so why not? I outline it. I don't know why I outline it. It makes me feel good. Um, and then I just do this on the inside. If I can spread some of this out, I will. But also, I like to leave it, so if it does like sheeny bits and stuff like that. But I don't want it to like bleed into the day before like it kind of did right there. So that's what the day <coughs> so eight nine and ten are like all kind of mixed up eight should be on nine nine should be on ten and ten should be on eight and then i gave myself a little key of what i did so i'm not confused and then something i don't know what ink splashed but something dripped here so day 29 is going to be weird um but yeah so cool so thanks so much for watching look at these look at these inks this month like we've got a range it's all purples and like a couple of like warm colors <laughs> but that's cool like that's cool i mean that's really what i picked i picked i'm surprised i haven't picked any greens yet because there's a ton of greens in here um i'm really surprised i've chosen all the purples because i close my eyes when i choose these inks um i really want to choose this one at some point i mean i want to choose all of them um, but yeah. And I really want to choose this one at some point. Somebody was asking about a comparison for Dirty Red, and I think this is one that might be, um, that I have at least, that might be the most comparable, but I haven't done, I haven't, I haven't messed with it yet, so I'm not sure. But I do have a video that I haven't filmed yet that I'm going to um, be comparing a bunch of inks that, like, to the Ferris wheel press inks and that a few that's like some people have asked about um so yeah so we've got some stuff coming i've got Ferris wheel press video i've got another unboxing video and it's watching video and um yeah cool and then ink flight's supposed to be here this week and yeah i'm just rambling at this point so i'm gonna go take care love you bye